Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn shapes in Adobe Photoshop. Hello friends. So first we are going to learn how to draw a shapes in Adobe Photoshop and then we will focus on each shape tool. Here on the tool menu, you will see a different different shapes like a rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, line tool and custom shape tool. Okay. You will learn how to outline a shape in Adobe Photoshop and how to make a custom shape in Photoshop. So guys, first we are going to create one new project. So we will going to learn all these shapes one by one. So I'm just creating a new and then I'm just typing shapes in Photoshop. Okay, the size and resolutions are good. I'm just press OK. So guys, to enable shapes, you need to go to this tool menu and here just right click on it so you will see a different different shapes over there okay first i am going to show you how you can create a shape so just click a rectangle tool or you can also press a u from your keyboard to enable this tool so i right now i am selecting this rectangle tool and with the mouse pointer i am just creating this rectangle tool okay so this rectangle is created right so now we are going to see some properties of this rectangle tool. Okay, after that we are one by one creating the other shapes. So with the move tool, I can move this shape. I'm just pressing, placing over here. So guys on the top, you can see a different, different property of this shape. First is mode. Okay, the mode option set a mode such as unshape, path and a pixel for the activated shape tool. Okay, the next is fill. The fill option lets the fill a color to the shape. Right now my fill color is yellow. You can change any color you want. Okay, like this you can change a different color from the fill. So guys next is stroke. It strokes the shape by defining the color, width and type of your shape stroke. How? I am just clicking on this shape color and from here you can select a different different stroke color. Okay, as you can see in my shape stroke it will be changing. Okay, you can also change the size of the stroke from here right now it is a 10 pt you can increase or decrease or just take the mouse pointer over here and you can increase and decrease your stroke like this just click like this and you can increase and decrease the value so this is a stroke after this you can see width and height this option is used to specify the width and height of the shape manually at the starting we creating this shape from the mouse you can also set from the manually how so just select this shape and from here width and height you can increase and decrease the width and height of your shape like this okay now after that you will see this option this is called a path operation the path operation define the way you shape interact with other shapes so inside this you will share a different different path option after this path alignment the path alignment option specify the alignment and distribute shapes components here you can see a different different alignment distribute and distribute spacing over here so after that you will see an additional shape and path option now the additional shape and path option tool is displayed as a gear icon it allow us to set an additional shape and path option such as a width and a color of the on screen display path. Okay, so from here you can change many things. For example, I am writing right now from the center. If I enable this from the center, so whenever I am creating a new shape, it will be start from the center only. See, it will be start from the center only. And if I am disable that option for now, I am just disabling this option okay and now if I am creating this option so as you can see from the starting point this shape is creating so you can see the difference of this from center so guys next we are going to learn some useful keys and techniques for drawing a shape okay so some keys are very useful while drawing a shape this key let us draw a shape properly so let's discuss them so friends right now I'm creating this shape 
okay now from the rectangle tool i want to create a proper square okay so for that i'm just dele deleting this rectangle tool i'm again creating this rectangle tool okay now while creating this rectangle tool press shift from your keyboard okay and now try to create so as you can see it will create a proper square so this is a useful key so shift key is a very useful key while drawing a shape it has a several different uses for example to draw a straight line now in this tool we have a line tool option okay now whenever i want to create a straight line it is very hard with manually but if i'm pressing the shift then you can see it will be automatically creating a straight line okay same as as you can create a vertical line like right? so it maintain a width and height ratio so guys in shapes what you can do with shapes so you can create a horizontal or vertical line like this now you can create a square using a rectangle tool how you can do that the hold the shift key while a drawing a rectangle it will create a square okay the next is how you create a proper circle now we have a next option is ellipse tool now with the ellipse tool you can create a ellipse but a manually it is very hard to create a ellipse tool now with the using of shift button you can create a proper ellipse tool see now just press shift so it will be automatically create a proper circle okay so it is also a very useful use of the shift button same you can use this shift button in all the shapes so guys next we are going to create is a rounded rectangle tool so rounded rectangle tool provided our edges at this side okay as you can see we can see at the edges rounded edges on all the sides next we are going to see polygon tool okay now with the polygon tool you can create a different different shape right now it is a polygon tool but i am creating a star because at the top side i will selected sides is 5 if i am selecting side is 7 then i can create a seven sided shapes if i am siding like uh, 50 then i can create a 50 sides of shapes okay so like this you can create a different different shapes in adobe photoshop if i am creating a three sides then you can create a shape like this okay just uh, decrease the stroke i am decrease the stroke like this so guys like this you can create a different different shapes in adobe photoshop now you have an equation that how i can curve my edges for example if i am creating this rectangle tool okay now i want to manually curve these edges sharp these sharp edges now i want to curve this so on the right hand side you will see a different different properties okay here you can see the property bottom left corner radius just increase and decrease so you can see the edges will be a soften so like this you can create a soft edges okay so you can do a lot of things using a shapes just do a practice change all these value change the values by yourself see what happen by changing this value what happen if i'm selecting this dotted line so if i'm selected this dotted line then my stroke is become a dotted so like this check all the values in these shapes and you will learn a lot of things so guys this is all about shapes in our next video we are going to learn how to create a custom shape in adobe photoshop thank you so much guys see you in the next video